What's up, sports designers? It's Mike with Sports Templates back at it again. Today, I am excited to show you this new flat basketball template and how we go from a blank slate to this awesome LA basketball design. Uh, before we get started, make sure you head down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and you can also grab the link to the asset library that's used in this design so you can follow along. So I'm going to be designing on this full kit today, but I also wanted to show you that there's another view or another layout that comes with this template, and that is this smaller kit that you see here. Um, so it's got it's still got two jerseys, two shorts, headband, sleeve, socks, and shoes, but it doesn't have the ball or the jacket. Um, so if you just want to do a little more compact layout, you don't need all those other parts. You can use this view or layout as well. Uh, but again, we're going to focus on this main view today. So wanted to show you that that's also available. And again, we're going to be working on this design today. Um, so let me show you all the different features of this like we usually do. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. I'm hitting control or command plus on my keyboard and that zooms you in. And this thing is 8K resolution, okay? It's 8,000 pixels by 8,000 pixels. So um, depending on you know, how powerful your computer is, sometimes when you zoom in, you'll see it kind of slow down a little bit. Uh, but just wanted to zoom in so you can see all the texture, right? The jersey texture is there. Got kind of the uh, tackle twill embroidery texture going on. You can see the nice shadows and depth on there. Jock tag there. Got our sleeve headband with the uh, terry cloth kind of towel texture that the headbands typically have. Got the basketball with all the texture and the reflections and shadows on it. Got the shoes, all the super detailed textures on those. Amazing. You're, you're going to see when we get into the edit. Got the jacket with all the different parts. Okay. We've got the shorts with the same texture as the jersey, the waistband texture. Two different kinds of socks that you can use. Same set of shorts on the left. All of this fully customizable, tons and tons of smart objects and uh, different color selectors uh, that make it easy for you to design. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you how to make the design. And just so you can see it one more time, this is what we're going for. So LA basketball, uh, we've got the color library and a couple of the logos used here. Um, again, if you get the link down below, you'll be able to use these same assets and follow along with this design. Um, so I like to um, start with the background on this one just to kind of give me a better look at what I'm dealing with. Um, all of this being one color kind of, you know, can be a little bit hard to look at. So this thing comes with some really awesome built-in backgrounds. Um, you've got the sports templates, you know, text that you can turn off and on. You can go in and edit that text if you want to. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, and there's a couple options. You've got a clean background, which is what we're looking at now. And we can put some lines on it. Um, you can change the color. It's a, we've got a gradient on there to start. So you can come in and change the gradient color if you want to. And I'll show you what that does when you do it right. So you can change the colors on either side and, um, you know, kind of make this thing look however you want. I'm just going to do something extreme so you can kind of see the difference. Okay. But we are going to go ahead and cancel this out. We're going to use the wood texture background, which you see down here. And there's a couple options with the wood texture background. Um, I'm going to leave it this you know, kind of normal wood color just because I like that. Um, but if you want to use a light floor color, you can change this color here. And you want to fine tune your colors a little bit, right? You probably don't want something that's so extreme. You want to get more into kind of the more natural looking color. Um, or if you want to do a darker color, you can turn off this light color here and go down here and use a darker color. And that's just because we have different lighting built in here that works better on darker colors versus lighter colors. Uh, but I'm gonna stick with that wood color. And then here we've got uh, court design and you can see, I'm gonna zoom out, control minus or command minus. We've actually got the entire court design. So if you wanted to, if you wanna see a different part of the court, you could just move this around. You could put, you know, center court there. Um, you can do the other side, you know, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna focus on that corner three, however you want to do it. I'm going to leave it how we have it. 
I'm gonna hit Control or Command and zero. Sorry, let me get off that layer. And that'll bring me back to the full view. Um, so you can also change the color of that court design if you wanna make it a different color, right? We can do purple, we can do gold, whatever we wanna do. I'm gonna stick with a white color for this design. I just like how it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna call the background done. And then I'm gonna go just top down. So, and these are, these groups are ordered in a way that kind of flows with the template. You got jersey front, jersey back, headband, sleeve, ball, shoes, and then shorts, socks, shorts, jacket, in that order. So you've got actually 10 different groups in here. It's like having 10 templates all in one. Um, and if there's a certain part of it you don't want, you can just turn it off, right? And then kind of rearrange things if you want to. So these, these can all be moved around, right? If I want to put my jersey somewhere else, I can just, you know, kind of drag it wherever I want to put it and change the layout of things. So let's get into the jersey front layer. Um, inside of the group, there's a lot of other stuff going on, okay? Uh, because like I said, these are like basically all having their own template kind of just built into one. So within the jersey front, we have the embossed logo graphics. So that's where you're going to go when you want to put, you know, the letters and numbers and things like that on the jersey. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to kind of set the foundation. So I'm going to leave it how it is with the, we'll call this the hoop neck or the U neck. Um, there are options to add a V neck or a wishbone collar. And you can see those changing here, right? So the wishbone is on, now it's off. V neck is on, now it's off. So you can customize either of those. I'm gonna leave it how it is, which just means keep the V neck and wishbone turned off. And I'm gonna go into this folder for Jersey editable parts. And I'm just gonna start setting my colors. Okay, so my collar color, I'm going to set to purple and you're not going to notice that right now because you kind of see it around the edges, but I've got designs on top of it. If I turn those off, I can see my collar con color underneath. I am going to put a design on there, but I like to set the base color. Um, that way, you know, any, any, there's no gaps or there's no kind of blue showing through any of the gaps. Um, same thing on my sleeves. I'm going to set those to purple. You can see here. And then the neckband is the, there's a little, show you this, I'm going to zoom in, I'm hitting control or command plus, and then I'm going to hold the space bar so I get my little hand here and I can drag over. There's a little line in here inside of the jerseys, just underneath the inside collar, we're calling that the neckband. Um, and you can make that whatever color you want, okay? You can make it, you know, purple, gold, whatever. I'm just going to leave it white. And I'm not going to put a design on that part of it, but you can if you want to. Then we have, I'm gonna zoom out just a little, controller command minus. We have our side panel design. So if you wanna put some stripes down the side, we're gonna do that. If you don't, and you just wanna make it a solid color, you can do that with this layer here and change the color. And then we have our jersey design. This is for what's underneath the uh, the letters and numbers, like if you wanted to do pinstripes or something like that. I'm not going to do that for this particular design. I'm just going to turn that off and I'm going to set my color to gold. We're going to do a gold jersey here. And the inside design is if you want to put something inside the jersey, like maybe a manufacturer's label, something like that. I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to set that color to gold as well. All right. And then I'm going to start actually designing the jersey. Um, so let's go back up to our side designs and these are uh, linked smart objects. So if you do one side, it's going to automatically do a mirror image on the other side. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set my background color to white because I want the main part to be white and then I want to get a purple uh, stripe on the side. So the easiest way for me to do this is I'm going to go ahead and just hit Controller Command J to duplicate this layer. I'm going to set it to purple and then I'm just going to resize it. So I'm holding shift and I'm just dragging this over. And then I'm going to hit Controller Command S to save it. And I'm going to jump out here and kind of check and see. And OK, so I've got a purple stripe. I'm going to close that real quick, but it's not quite as thick as I want it to be. So I'm going to just widen this out a little bit and again, hit Controller Command S. And there we go. Now we've got you know, a thicker purple stripe on the side. Um, now I'm going to move on to my sleeves. Okay, so I'm going to double click to open up my smart object. And in here, we've got a group for stripes. So stripe one, two, and three. So I want my two 
outer stripes to be purple. So I'm going to select those both at the same time. I do that by clicking on one, holding control, clicking on the other, and I can then choose my color. And then the middle one, I'm going to set to white. I'm going to hit control or command S. And now you can see we've got our sleeve design. Now these sleeves are independent in case you want to do something totally different on either one. So I'm going to go and just set this one the same way I did the other one. And sometimes if I know I'm done and I don't need to preview this, I don't need to hit Control or Command S to save. I can just close it. It's going to ask me if I want to save. I'm going to say yes, and now it's saved. And then collar, there's two collars. There's the back and the front. I just turned off the back because I don't typically put the design on the inside of the collar. You can, uh, but that's not how the real jerseys usually are. So I'm just going to, whatever my outside trim color, in this case it's purple, I'm going to set the inside part of the color to match that. And then I'm just going to design the front of the collar and I'm going to do it the same way I've been doing the others. So you can see how quickly this goes, right? If you're, um, you know, doing this design on your own, um, once you're used to where everything is in the template, you can really fly through these. Okay. Now I want to change the stuff on the actual design, the front of the Jersey, the name and the numbers. So I'm going to go here to the emboss logo and graphics. And I'm just going to scroll down until I see this smart object. And this one is, is named um, add design here, add your shirt design here, something like that. So I'm going to double click on this one and I'm going to change some things. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell kind of where stuff is. So I'm going to turn the background color on and set it to my jersey color so I can really see how things look. And I'm going to turn some things on and off. So we've got this little placeholder logo here. This is like if you wanted to put a sponsor patch or something like that on the jersey. Uh, that just kind of gives you an idea of where to put it and how to size it. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for this design. Uh, this logo I'm going to change to purple. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Change it to purple there. And um, the team name, I'm going to turn that off because we're not doing a typed out team name on this one. We're doing a logo and that's this logo here. So I'm going to drop this in and I'm just going to kind of position it where I think, you know, is good in relation to the number. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change the number. Um, I like the number, but I'm going to change it to a different font. Um, we do have a stroke on here. That's your black outline. I want to change that to purple, which I already have set as my foreground color over here. And if you don't, you can just click there and it'll, it'll set it. Um, when you have a text, layer like this, it'll change the color of your text. So you can see the colors changing and my foreground colors changing. So if I'm on a different layer and I click purple, it'll set it to my foreground color. Then I can double click on my stroke. I can choose my foreground color. I can hit okay. And then I just want to change my font. A couple ways to do that. I can double click on it and then it'll come up there where I can make changes. Or you can go over here to your character um, window in your, I don't know, I forget what we call this, um, some sort of panel. But um, if you don't have that, you can go to window and you can find character, turn it on, and then you can just kind of drag it and drop it into there. So I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to change this to a particular font that I happen to have that matches. Um, and you'll see this looks a little stretched out. That's because this uh, height, it was set to 110% for the other one. So I'm just going to change that to 100. And now it will kind of scale it back to the size I want it to be. And I'm going to change the spacing here too. Um, this is the tracking on the font and that you know sort of brings things closer together or makes them further apart. I'm just going to set it to the default of zero. And then I want these letters to be a little bit smaller. So they're about, or I'm sorry, the numbers. I want it to be about the same width as our logo there. So I'm going to do that. And you know, I'm not liking our stroke. I forgot. Um, this stroke is set to position outside or inside. I'm going to set it to outside. Okay. And now you can see uh, the numbers look thicker like they should. I'm just going to line that up. And I'm going to turn off my background color. I don't want that on when I save this smart object because this is meant to be the um, 
part of the jersey that's you know, kind of sewn on to the top. So if we leave this filled with yellow, I'll just show you what it does. Um, it it kind of makes everything on top look like it's uh, embroidered on and you don't have any depth on your logos. I don't want that. So I'm going to turn that off. Controller Command S. And now you can see we've got the normal jersey texture and then we've got you know our logo and number and there's some nice depth to them and a different texture. So we've got the front of our jersey set up. I'm going to show you how to do the shorts next. Usually I would just kind of go in order and work down, but I'm not going to go through every single element here. Like you don't need to see me do two pairs of shorts. You don't need to see me do two jerseys. So I will fast forward through some of this stuff um, just to save some time. So let's go down to the shorts on the left and let's go into editable parts and we're going to start changing colors. So I want the waist to be purple. I'm going to turn off the design layer because I'm not putting any stripes or anything like that on here. And then my shorts, I want to be gold and I do want to put a design on them. I need to get uh, some stripes and things going and my logo. So I'm going to turn off the grid. I'm going to turn my background color to gold and I just want to set some some stripes on here. So again, I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm just going to start changing the things. I'm going to set it to purple and I'm going to bring this way down here just to create my uh, the stripes that go along the bottom of the trim of the shorts. I'm going to duplicate that controller command J and I'm going to set it to white and then I'm going to hit controller command plus and I'm really going to zoom in and I'm going to take this white one. I'm going to hold alt and shift and I'm gonna change the size. So this brings it all in from the center. I'm gonna hit okay on that. And I just wanna preview where I'm at. So I'm gonna hit Controller Command S and I'm gonna come out here. And I'm gonna zoom in. And you can see we've got some nice trim on there now. If you zoom in real close, you can see there's, you know, kind of a line there where that trim should line up and we're really, really close to that. Um, some, some shorts don't have any trim down there and, you know, some do or they just have different designs. So wanted to make this so you can, you know, kind of customize it for whatever works for you. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. Hit control or command S. And now you can see we're, we're lined up, you know, really good. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm going to zoom out so we can see more of the shorts. So control or command and minus. Uh, and you can see the design is changing on the other shorts too. These are uh, mirrors of one another. I don't actually, they're not mirrors. They're not opposites. They're just, they're duplicates of one another. And I'm going to show you how to work around that um, as we move forward. Makes it easy for, um, you know, not having to duplicate all your elements and then you can just change things separately. Okay, so now we need to get kind of the side panel onto the shorts. So I'm gonna hit Control Zero and zoom out. And I want this side panel to be underneath these stripes. So I'm gonna go down here again to my background layer. I'm gonna hit Control or Command J. I'm gonna turn it white. And the first thing I wanna do is just bring it in from the center a little bit. So I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt. And I'm gonna bring it in from the center. And then I want the top to be tapered because it's, it's kind of um, almost like a triangle, but it doesn't come to a point at the top. So I'm going to hold control and shift and I'm going to click on this corner and I'm just going to drag inward. Actually, I don't know why it's not working like it normally does. Let me hit control Z, back that off and I'm going to try it again. Nah, Photoshop's being funny today. Usually I can actually, maybe I'm hitting the wrong keys. It's alt control shift. I need to hit all three uh, to drag that in. And you can see then it's, it's coming in from both sides, right? Holding um, shift locks it so I don't really move up or down. So it's coming in from both sides. I'm gonna hit that and I wanna put a purple outline around this or a stroke. Um, so I could use, you know, my stroke over here, um, but I can also use, if I come over here and I choose my pass selection tool, I can go up here to my stroke and I can choose purple 
and if I go here and I choose alignment I want to set it to outside and then I can just type how many pixels I want it to be so let's try 18 and eh, that's a little thin I'm gonna go let's go um, 36 let's double it okay that's pretty good that's really close to matching with my stripes down there I'm gonna hit control or command s okay so I've got my side panel on my shorts but it's a little bigger than I want it to be um, so I'm gonna come back in here I'm gonna grab that layer I'm gonna grab it right here I'm gonna hold alt and shift and I'm just gonna bring it in from the center okay and that's that's much better that's a lot closer to where I want to be um, so then I'm just gonna drop my logo in size it down a little bit kind of get it right in here if I hold alt it'll bring it in from the center right change the size from all directions whereas if I don't hold alt it kind of just goes up and the bottom stays put right so I'm gonna do that and I also want to drop one of these guys in here and we'll just put this put this up here hit control or command s and look at that actually you know what I changed my mind I don't want that I don't want this here because I'm gonna put that on my um, I'm gonna put that on my embroidered layer and I'm actually gonna put this there too um, so let's turn this off for now we'll save this and for this one it's okay if I leave the background yellow because there's no additional texture added to this uh, but let me go to my embossed logo and graphics and go to add design here and here's where I want to bring in this let me turn off the 23 just size this up and you know one thing you can do um, I'll show you this real quick I'm gonna go back to the shorts design layer remember I had this positioned here where I liked it well if I don't want to have to kind of guess again I can just right click duplicate layer I'm gonna choose my other shorts design layer that I have open turn this back off and now I have it there where I want it so I can delete this other one and that's where I want it um, placeholder logo I'm gonna turn off and I'm gonna drop this in and I'm gonna, again I'm gonna put this up here okay there we go now our shorts are done on that side now um, I'm gonna fast forward through the jersey back when I get to it I'm gonna do the other shorts so I can show you how to make these changes you've kind of got all your stuff in place I'm gonna go ahead and close out of these just to kind of start from scratch on this so let's go up here to close this group out and let's go to shorts right actually let's go back into shorts left um, show you the easiest way to do this so we've got our design right our um, logos I'm gonna go ahead and hit control or command J duplicate that layer and I'm gonna right click and hit rasterize so then I can turn the smart object off underneath and I, I still have my design it's just a rasterized layer now which means when I make changes in my smart object again this is not going to change right so maybe I just want to change the colors on the other one um, I don't want to affect this one anymore so it'll stay just like that one of the tricks uh, that took me a lot a long time to learn when I was doing um, starting to learn these templates okay same thing would be true if we had a waistband design which we don't so we're just gonna leave um, the waistband design off on the right and left shorts um, but we also want to keep all this trim right the side panel and the trim the same so again if we go to shorts design we hit control or command J um, if you want to you can right click and make it a clipping mask too so it's just right on top of the other one it'll make it look the best and then also right click and rasterize that one and you can turn off the one underneath it doesn't really matter if you do but you can turn it off so now all that stuff is is fixed on the left shorts it's not going to change when we change our smart objects so if we go down to the shorts on the right and we get into embossed logo and graphics we don't need to change that but if we turn it off right we don't have a, a rasterized layer above it and actually we do need to change it because we need to change the color of the logo so I'm gonna go ahead and make that gold oh yeah I can't do it that way um, I'm going to so I'm on that layer I'm gonna choose my FX panel I'm going to hit color overlay and then I'm gonna select my gold color over here and then I'm just gonna close out of that 
And now it's there and, and don't worry, you'll be able to see it better in a minute. Uh, if I go into editable parts, turn off the waistband design, I'm gonna make it white. And then shorts design, I'm going to leave on. I'm gonna change my shorts color to purple. And you don't see it yet because the shorts design is still on. I'm gonna go into shorts design. Again, background's gonna be purple. This I now want to be gold and I want the outline or the stroke to be white. And then for my stripes, I want the outside to be white. So I'm going to get the bottom one, make it white. And I want the inside to be gold, just like that. And again, background, you can, you can leave it on or off. I'll turn it off for this one. And now you can see we have our shorts with our trim. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. And I'm just gonna, you're gonna notice uh, fast forward here while I work through the back jersey. Um, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now we've got the back of the jersey done. Just changed all the colors like we did on the front, changed the text inside the main design layer um, to match, you know, change the colors and everything, and, and now it's done. I'm going to close out some of these additional layers, and let's move on to the next stuff in the template. So the headband. Headband's real easy. Open up the group, go down into the editable parts folder, change your color. In this case, it's purple. Turn off the design for a second so you can see. Go into the design smart object and just drop in your design. So whatever you want to put on there, I'm just going to center it and then I'm holding alt and kind of shrinking it down. I'm going to turn off my grid, controller command S, and there we have it. I'll zoom in on that so you can see. So I'm hitting controller command plus to zoom in. And there we have it. You can see all the little, you know, fuzz, um, if you will. So let's go over next to the sleeve, which is here. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Controller Command minus. Open up the sleeve group, go to the editable parts. I'm gonna choose my color. In this case, I wanna stick with purple. And I'm gonna drop a design on it. Um, let's do this one. And I don't know if you noticed over here, let me undo that. Wherever you are, whichever layer you have selected, when you drop something in, it's gonna go above it. Right, so you can either drag it down or you can just make sure you're on a different layer and then drag it in and it'll go there. Okay, now um, my sleeve is, uh, my sleeve is purple. So I need this to be a different color and just position it and put it like down here, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then I want it to be gold, so I'm gonna do color overlay again and I have my gold selected over here. I'm gonna just hit Controller Command S and okay, I'm happy with the placement on that. If you zoom out, you can see a little bit better. So that works for me. Sleeve is done. Let's move on to the ball. Again, go into the editable parts. Um, what color do we want the seams on the ball to be? I'm gonna make them purple. The design will turn off for a moment just so you can see the change when I make the color. I'm going to make the ball gold. And now let's go into the design. And again, I'm just going to click on my grid so this drops in above it. I'm going to drop my design in there. Let's size it a little bit. Turn off my grid and background. Hit Controller Command S and kind of see. Okay, so I'm happy with that the sizing on the ball. Next, my favorite part of the template, um, the shoes. So in the shoes group, you have a top shoe and a bottom shoe. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So controller command plus, I'm going to hit the space bar so I can drag over and we're going to open up that top shoe and then go into the edible parts. And I'm going to turn off these two design layers for now, um, just so we can see all the colors change. So when I turn on the design, you can see there's kind of a grid there. Um, I'll show you how to use that in a moment. Right now we just want to worry about the colors. So I'm going to just click and hold down my mouse button and drag down and turn all of these on. Okay. 
And oh, uh, this will be fixed when you get to the template, but I'm just going to fix that real quick. Okay, so each one of these layers is uh, changing a different part of the shoe color. So logo color, that's the color on the tongue. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. It's the color of the logo on the tongue. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna make this um, black. I have a certain design I wanna do for these shoes. Uh, the laces, we're gonna make white. And one thing you can do, right, if a lot of your parts of your shoes are gonna be one color, just choose all these layers and make them white. Okay, and then you can change other stuff as you as you move along. Um, if you're not sure what is changing, right, you can you know change it and see what happens, or you can hit Control and click here, and it'll put a highlight around you know whatever area is masked out for that particular color. You can hit Control or Command D to deselect that. Um, so I'm going to leave that white. I'm going to leave the eyelets white. The the laces where the holes are. Um, the inner color, change that to the gold. Tongue color, I'm going to leave white. Ankle color, the first ankle color is this plastic piece that goes around the outside. I'm going to make that black. This ankle color is the inside, right? I'm going to actually keep that white. I just want to show you. Um, the dots on the front of the shoe, if you wanted to make those a different color, you can do that, okay? I'm going to leave them white for our purposes. This part is the part under the dots. So again, I'm going to leave that white, but you could change it if you want to, right? And I'm just hitting Control or Command Z to undo some of this stuff. And then there's three different parts of the sole, okay? So this part is the front. I'm going to make that gold. This part is the back, um, kind of middle section here. I'm going to make that black. And then the other part is everything else. I'm going to make that black too. Okay, and then I want to add a logo to the front of my shoe. So I'm going to turn that layer on, come in here, and I'm going to drop this guy in. And I'm going to make it kind of big and position it oh, right about there. You might have to play with this until you make your, um, until you get it where you want it. Now I'm going to put a color overlay on this because I want it to be black. It's not pure black. I'm using 080808. Pure black is oftentimes just too black. Close that real quick. Okay, and that's pretty close to where I want it actually. Um, might move it down just a little so that it isn't touching there, but otherwise it's it's pretty close. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. Okay, and now let's just design the bottom shoe to sort of match. So editable parts layer. Um, turn all these on. The dots, we want to be white. The actual shoe color, we also want to be white. The ankle holder part, we made black. And then the sole color um, is, is kind of a, I'm gonna turn off the design on the sole real quick. So it's gold. Let me change this to white. This is just um, kind of the overall color of the entire shoe. So I'm just making the base white. Um, now for sole color, if you don't have, you know, all of your sole one color, um, you can always customize this in, in a few different ways. Um, so I'm gonna hit controller command J to duplicate that. And now I have two of the same thing. And I wanna make it so the back part is black. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna make it black. And then I want to only have this part show. So right now my layer mask is showing white on the entire sole of the shoe. That means everything in black um, you can't see and everything where it's white is what you can see. So I just want to make part of this show the yellow underneath. So if I choose my layer mask and I choose a brush, I'm going to choose, I have my brush set to hard round, it's 100% opacity, 100% flow, and I have it set to black, pure black. Okay, you want this on pure black. Um, I'm going to then, on my layer mask, I can paint out 
the parts that I don't want to see. So if you see here, there's, there's the line there on the top shoe where the yellow starts and there's kind of a line here. Um, I'm gonna just paint all this out kind of along that line so that we have that, that same break on the bottom. And you can do this however you want. It doesn't have to be this exact way. I'm just um, showing you a different way that I would do it. And if you want to, you can even come in here and you can kind of paint out these, um, I'm sorry, paint in the side parts. So if you hit X, you can change your brush to paint white, which is gonna allow this stuff to show through. Right, and usually I would probably use the pen tool for this and you know get a really nice clean line. Um, but just for, for our purposes real quick, I just want to show you, you know, one way you can do this. And I've got some smoothing turned on on my brush, um, which is why you kind of see it moving the way it did. And you can see here there's a little bit of a line where I kind of, you know, painted where I didn't want to. I'm just make my my brush bigger and just kind of you know, paint out along there and just kind of get it, you know, as smooth as I can. Again, I'm just kind of doing this real quick so you can see. I'm going to back up and now when you zoom out, you've got a really nice looking view. You can also add a design to the bottom. So in our case, let's add this guy. I think it was white in my original image, but I'll leave it purple for this. Let's make it, I'm just gonna place it somewhere. Hit Control or Command S. Let's see. And as you can see, it's hiding, right? Um, because it's clipped onto this one. I'm just gonna release that. And that's pretty close to where I want it to be. I'm gonna move it down just a little and rotate it a little bit this way. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. Maybe just bring it up. No, I don't want to rotate it. Let's bring it up that way just a little bit. Okay, and I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna hit control zero, back way out. And now you can see the only thing left to do, socks and jacket. Moving on to the socks group, we're going to go into our editable parts. We can do left sock design, we can do right sock design. I'm going to select both. I, I clicked on this one, I'm going to hold command and click on this one. I'm just going to change the socks white. Um, and now, you know, actually I'll make the, the left sock gold to match the um, original design we showed. So left sock design, I'm going to turn that on. And I just want to put some stripes on here. So let's make the sock gold so we can see kind of what we're working with. I'm going to hit Control or Command J to duplicate that layer rather than go over here and select Shape Tool. I'm going to hold Shift and I'm going to drag this up. And then I'm going to make it white. Sorry, got to click that. And I'm just going to move it down a little bit so it's not like right at the top of the sock. Then I'm going to duplicate it again. And actually, I'm going to keep that new one white. I'm going to make the one underneath it purple. And then I'm going to go back to the white one. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and just kind of shrink that down to create some stripes. Hit Control or Command S. And there we have some stripes on my sock. Now, I think they're too thick. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to hold Shift as I click to select both of those. Then I'm going to hold Alt and Shift. And I'm just going to shrink this way. Again, hit Control or Command S. And now I'm happy with those stripes. So then I'm going to go to my right sock design and I'm going to do a similar thing. But remember, my sock is white. I'm going to duplicate that, make this one purple. And this one I'm going to have go all the way to the top of the sock. So I'm going to kind of put it right about there, duplicate it again, make it gold. Click there, hold Shift and Alt and shrink it from the center. Hit Control or Command S. And there you can see we've got some stripes on top. Now, I think they're too big, again. Um, and part of how, or why I think that, is we've got the texture of the sock kind of changes right there. So I don't want it to be quite that big. So I'm gonna grab the bottom, I'm gonna hold Shift, and I'm just gonna move it up. Control or Command S. 
and I, I went a little too far. So let's move it back down just a tiny bit. Maybe there. And you can be as detailed with this as you want to. You don't have to be um, so worried about it like I am. Okay, socks are done. Last part is the jacket. So if we go into the jacket, um, let's go into the editable parts first. And that you can see there's a lot of parts here. All right, now I'm not gonna put any designs on the collars or the trim, so I'm gonna turn all those off and I'm gonna make the collar color purple. These three smart objects are for the sides and the back of the collar. Um, I'm not gonna do a neck band design. I'm just gonna make that white. And then these are for my sleeves, right? And I don't, I don't need to put any designs on those or the different sections of my sleeves. I'm just gonna make them gold. And then these smart objects are for the bottom parts of the trim here. And I'm just gonna make that purple with no striping or anything. And then this one is the center stripe where the, the zipper is hidden. I'm gonna turn that off and make that purple. The pockets, I'm gonna make gold. You can see the trim of the pockets. And then if I wanted to put a, you know, like a design behind the um, embroidered or embossed logo, I could do that here. You know, again, if I had stripes or a gradient or something like that, I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna set that to purple. And then for my sleeve bands, um, I'm gonna turn those off to the designs and just set the color to, sorry, purple. And then if I wanted to design inside, I could do that here. I don't need to do that. So I'm gonna set those to purple. So all I need to do now is change my logos. So again, if I go back up to the embossed logo graphics folder, open that up, choose the add your design here group. There's three separate smart objects here. There's one for the for this sleeve, one for the other sleeve, and one for the chest. So let's start with the chest. All right, remember our color's purple. We've got our placeholder logo on this side. So I'm just gonna kind of line this up with it. Make it a little bit bigger. And then we've got this logo on the other side. It's kind of lined up with the top, maybe make it a little smaller. And I want that to be gold. So I'm gonna, again, do FX, color overlay. Click there, choose my gold over here. Hit Control or Command S. Let me close these other guys out. And that's pretty good. I, the, this is probably a little big, so I'm just gonna shrink it down a little and then close that. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, now let's get into our sleeves. So we've got a placeholder logo here so you can kind of see where you are. I'm gonna drop this one in. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because it's easier to control things and grab them when they're small when you zoom in. I'm gonna rotate that to kind of match the angle of that. Turn that off, hit Control or Command S, and then you can see I've got my placement there. So let's just do the other side. And for this one, I want it to be the same size. I don't wanna to have to resize it again. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my sleeve layer for the sleeve that's on my right. It's the left sleeve of the jacket, but it's on my right. I'm gonna duplicate that layer. Sorry, copy it over into my other sleeve design. And now it's the same size. Um, it's also in the same position, right? So if I, if I save this, which it doesn't, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong um, layer. So wrong tab. So it's in this, it's the same size, but it's not in the right position. So I'm gonna grab this and just rotate it again and kind of line it up with this. Turn that underlying placeholder logo off, hit controller command S, and there we have it. Everything's placed and you can fine tune as you want to. So zoom out, I just zoomed out a bit so you can see a full view and uh, wow, really, really happy with it. So a couple things I wanna show you before we end. Um, I'm just gonna do like a, a detailed zoom shot of basically the whole thing, right? We looked at the front of the jersey earlier. I'm just hitting Control or Command S and zooming in. I'm just giving it a second to catch up. When it tries to zoom in this far on something that's so detailed, it does take a little while. So you can see on the front of the jersey, we've got the jock tag there and you can customize that. Uh, all the trim, you can see all the wood grain on the court and the paint. There's the back of the jersey, you can see all that texture. 
The sleeve we got a close look at earlier. Same thing with the headband, the ball, detailed shot on the shoes. The jacket has awesome texture, shadows all over. The shorts, the socks, right? So, so many cool things. And one of the other things I wanna show you that is great about these sports templates uh, one of the great features about sports templates is we have the dynamic lighting and there's a dynamic lighting in every group right so if you want to do the lighting on the jacket you go to the jacket group and dynamic lighting is there there's one for the jersey front jersey back all the other parts so dynamic lighting allows you to customize the lighting um, if you want to change it so if we turn it on um, you don't you don't really notice any changes you know it's, it's pretty subtle right now but if we go in and we change the settings. So if you go to the hue saturation layer, go to properties and just start sliding this thing around. We'll do something pretty intense so you can see it. Bringing in a lot of light from the front. And a little more from the right. Hit control or command S. You go back out here. Now you've got a ton of light, right, on your on your design. So if you want to change the, the way this whole thing looks, you, you know, you're doing it for a different setting, um, really want to manipulate the lighting, you can do that. Now maybe we don't want to be that extreme, right? So we can kind of dial it down a little bit. Just save that. And now you can see the light's not so intense and that's totally customizable. You can do that on every element here, um, along with, like I mentioned, changing the, um, the back background graphics. So lots of cool stuff built into this template. You can customize uh, jersey and uniform sets for basketball teams and uh, the possibilities are really, really endless. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe learn something along the way. Um, please head over to sportstemplates.net, pick up this new template and we will see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and leave us a comment.